Hi there, it's good to see you again. Today in this video, I'm gonna talk about what I've learned from week 3 of international finance, which is the factors that affect currency exchange rate. Now, in inflation rates, they, they can impact a country's currency value. A low inflation rate typically exhibits a rising currency value, as its purchasing power increases relative to other currencies. Conversely, those with higher inflation typically see depreciation in their currencies compared to that of their trading partners, and it's also typically accompanied by high, higher interest rates. Now, exchange rates, interest rates, and inflation rates are all interconnected. An increase in interest rates caused by countries' currency to appreciate, as lenders are provided with higher rates and thereby attracting more foreign capital. This can cause a rise in the value of a currency and therefore the exchange rates. Cutting interest rates, on, on the other hand, can lead to a depreciation of the currency. Now, if a country has a historic of strong economic performance and a second monetary policy, investors are more inclined to seek out those countries. This inevitably increases the demand and, demand and value of the country's currency. Now you're probably wondering how tourism can affect the currency exchange rate. So let's take this example. I am traveling from the US to another country and, that, and therefore I will get more money transfer to that country when the US dollar appreciates against the foreign currency. Similarity, the depreciation of, of a currency means that foreigners will be more inclined to visit that country and spend more while there. Another factor here are visitor weighted exchange rates which measure a destination's currency market with those of its primary visitor market. In essence, countries that have a diversified range of visitor markets tend to be more resilient against specific exchange rate margins compared to those who rely on specific visitor markets. Now, the political state of a country coupled with economic performance can also affect the strength of the currency. A country with less risk for political turmoil will be more attractive to foreign investors, leading to an appreciation of the value of its domestic currency from foreign capital. So, geopolitical risk is the risk posed to a foreign investors by unexpected political developments. If a country's economy and political landscape remains unpredictable, investors are more likely to buy the currency. The opposite effect is also true. Um, unexpected events lead investors to pull their money back, sending the currency down in value. So, a country's balance of, of payments, or BOP, summarizes all international trade and financial transactions made by in individuals, companies, and government bodies complete with those bodies of that country. These transactions can consist of imports and exports of goods, services, and capital. So why BOP is included? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because it influences the ratio comparing export prices to import prices. If the price of a country's exports are greater than their imports, its term of trade have improved. This creates a greater demand for that country's exports and in turn, greater demand for their currency. Like many of the other factors influencing exchange rates, the converse reaction can also occur. If the exports rise by a smaller rate than the imports, the value of that country's exports and currencies decrease in value. So that's it from this video about the factors that affect currency exchange rate. Hope you find this very useful and thank you for watching this video and I'll see you soon. And until then, thank you and well, goodbye.